Hi, welcome to the channel, David here. And here we talk about how you create your own reality. We really take a deep dive into actually what is reality, how it works. So if you're into the weird and wacky spiritual world, if you really wanna dive deep into how all this kind of stuff works, then you're in exactly the right place. And I'll see you in the video. So here we're talking about how do you create your own reality? What exactly does that mean? Because there's a few versions out there. And the one we're going to tie into and explore is the one that Seth, a channel source, began to explore in about 1963, which is much more in line with my own personal experience. It explains everything about how things like the law of attraction actually work. And also it's in line with the latest quantum physics theory. So that's what we're going to explore. So let's get into that and see exactly what that means. OK, so from 1963 to about 80, 1984, something like that, Jane Roberts channeled a, a personality essence, as uh, he called himself, called Seth. And Seth really is the godfather, if you like, of the, the new age that we're finding. So a lot of the other channeled and spiritual sources from Deepak Chopra to um, the other channelers all kind of really copy a lot of their material from the Seth material, if we're honest. And I bumped into the Seth material after having a whole lifetime or 25 years at that time of uh, out of body experiences of channeling my own broader personality called Aaron coming up with all these weird and wonderful uh, concepts that I didn't really understand. And they were all around how you create your own reality. And my first out of body experience, when I looked back at my body, I realized that actually it was my senses that were creating my experience. That when I was in a physical body, my senses, the five senses were literally out of a whole sea of energy were actually forming my experience. It didn't really make a lot of sense to me, but it, it was pretty obvious from early on that it was my senses either in or out of my body that were creating my experience. And as I went on and bumped into this ideas within the Seth material and from Aaron, that's what we're talking about today. What does it really mean when we say you create your own reality? So is it that there's a physical place that we're floating on a planet in space that it's energy that time and space exist and that, you know, we send thoughts through time and space to create the events. Is that what that really means? Or is it that we're in an ocean of energy and that we are part of that environment and that our senses create the whole environment? Or is it that this is a state of consciousness and there is no planet and we're simply not floating on a planet in space? Now, they're the three kind of options that people come up with. Most people adopt the first one. You know, they don't really leap into the idea that Seth would propose or even the latest quantum physics would propose of a, of a multiverse. That your thoughts literally create your environment. Each thought actually creates a brand new reality. And Seth calls them probable realities, and you can go and explore that online. Also, that's what some quantum physics is called, that there are probable realities. There's more than one Earth that we are literally experiencing a multiverse. And that really is the really big leap. And that's what I'm going to suggest to you in this video, that actually what you create your own reality means. It answers absolutely everything. So if we're in a state of consciousness and it's created by thought, literally a multiverse, a mental multiverse, then it would describe, it would be able to answer ideas of how the law of attraction exists, of how the mind and body are connected, or how your thoughts actually extend beyond the body. And that really is the big leap, if you like. It's the really big leap into understanding what Seth's talking about. So Seth is not talking about in that body of work, which is held in Princeton University. It's, a, it's the best body of work on the nature of reality in this reality right now, without shadow of a doubt. And it really transcends all the other works. But essentially what Seth material is talking about, my own experience bears it out, out of body experiences and that type of thing. My own channeling experiences bear this out too, is that in truth, what you create your own reality means is something very different. It means that right now you're not floating on a planet in space. It means that you're creating your reality quite literally through your thoughts 
through literally that your senses are showing you. And it's the doorway to complete and total freedom. It means that you create your own reality and you have the choice to create what you want out of this multiverse that we find ourselves in. So if that's true, then the question is, how can you experience and what can you do about it? And I've got three steps to take you beyond into understanding that a little bit deeper, give you some ideas on what you can do to begin to prove that to yourself. It's a radical theory, but actually it answers every one of your questions about what spirituality is, how the law of attraction works, what consciousness is, they all fit into this model and going to take it on a step further in a second and really help you create and change the life that you want. So that's what Seth is talking about when we talk about you create your own reality. See you in the next part, the three steps to really help you understand that more. Okay, so what we explored there was how this isn't a physical place, and I really don't expect you to experience it that way, not yet anyway. But there are three things that you can do. The first thing is recognise that it's not a physical environment. When you're going about your day, when you're practising your law of attraction, you're meditating, you're focusing on things that you want, just recognise it's not a physical environment. And maybe that will give you the edge and it'll allow you to really start to create really, really effectively. The second thing is recognise that the most powerful thing you can do here in this place made of thought is to think, it's to feel. So your thoughts and beliefs come first, then your emotions, and then begin to expect things to change when you begin to use those tools. And there are other videos on this channel that will help you do exactly that. And the third thing is have fun with it. Don't take it too seriously. It really works a lot better when you're just playing with energy, playing with your ability and your consciousness. And if you do that, that kind of light, fun approach really does make it easier for you to create. So if you're struggling, then there are other videos on the channel, but just go back and have a look at your core beliefs. What is it that you really believe about yourself and about this reality? And if you do that, you will unlock your power to be able to use your, the law of attraction much more effectively, maybe, than you have in the past. So that's it. Please subscribe for any other videos. There'll be plenty more coming. We're going to go deep, deep, deep into this stuff and really get into multiple realities, past, future lives, timelessness, all that kind of stuff in the other videos. So subscribe and hit the bell and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. Take care. Thank you.